When working with character styles, you are inherently working with paragraph styles at the same time. A character style is an instance within a paragraph that is different from the overall paragraph. It could be that you want to change the color or you want text to be italicized or as in the lesson, uh, you want something to look like it's blue and clickable for a hyperlink. If everything about the paragraph is the same except for one little instance, you can use a character style to essentially detach that area from your paragraph style so that it can be different. However, not everything will be different. So let's use the hyperlink example. Let's say that somewhere in this paragraph here, we need these words to be a hyperlink. So we're going to format that as a hyperlink and as part of that, we'll change the color to be a blue color and we'll add an underline. And now if we look at that hyperlink, it's clearly different than the rest of the paragraph, but the typeface is still the same and the size is still the same. So it's still a 12 point typeface and the typeface is Skia. So we don't want to break that from the paragraph style. We just want to say that in this case, two things are different. The color is different and the underline that we added is different. The steps to save a character style are the same that you will follow for your object and your paragraph styles. Format the text that you wish to apply. In this case, it's a character style, so we must highlight. Remember, it's optional for a paragraph style. You can just have your cursor blinking somewhere in the paragraph. With the, with the, the formatted text highlighted on the character styles panel, which you can open via the window menu, styles and then character styles hit the create new style at the bottom right hand corner of the panel this will immediately create a new style double click the style so that you one are linking your formatted text to that style and now we can give it a name so let's since the example is a hyperlink let's call it the formatting that we want for the hyperlink when you select ok you now see that this text it's highlighted is both linked to the hyperlink character style and the body copy paragraph style that was saved for the body copy. If I click anywhere else in body copy, there are no character styles applied, but they're both linked to body copy. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why is this important? We can edit the style just like we would edit any other style, but watch what happens when we edit the paragraph style. The paragraph style is still linked to that entire paragraph. We've disconnected the link between the color and the underline, but everything else is still connected. So if we come to the paragraph style and we're going to edit body copy and we change the typeface from Skia to let's do Droid Serif, all of the text in the entire body copy section of this article has updated to be Droid Serif, including the character style, because the only two things we've disconnected between the paragraph and the character are the color and the underline. If you try to change the color of the character, you will notice that you can change the paragraph style's color. I can make it magenta in this example but I cannot also automatically update the character style because that character style instance is now controlled by the character style. I don't think anybody wants um, pink text, so we'll make it black and then select OK to save those changes.